In today's episode, I'm reviewing the Zeus Zen 51 dry contact relay. I'll explain how it's used, show you how to get it wired, provide edge driver information, show you the setup process in SmartThings, and also provide you with my opinions about this device. Let's get to it. Welcome to Bud's Smart Home. I'm Bud, and I purchased this relay for today's review. So the opinions that you receive about this device are mine with no influence from Zeus. I actually purchased this relay with the intent to automate the LED fixtures in my garage. I recently converted all of my fluorescent fixtures in my garage to LED, and I must now wear sunglasses when working out there. As an aside, if you're interested in discovering a very easy method for converting fluorescent fixtures to LED, then check out my LED conversion video via the link above. This video will explain the ballast bypass conversion method, which permits you to use dual energy, energy efficient LED bulbs in your former fluorescent fixtures. So before my advertisement rant about my LED conversion video, I mentioned that I had purchased this relay to automate the lighting in my garage. However, after receiving the relay, I saw that the relay specs indicated a 150 watt load limit. The load for the LED bulbs in my garage exceed this limit by 138 watts. I therefore opted to use this relay to convert a paddle switch that controls the recessed lights that are positioned above our kitchen sink. I will likely revisit the topic of automating my garage lighting in an upcoming video. This Zeus relay is perfect if you prefer to keep your current style wall switches, but you would still like to make them smart while keeping the ability to operate the switches manually. You simply install this relay behind your existing on-off switches to make them smart. Just make sure that the switch you intend to automate is not a dimmer switch. That type of switch will require a dimmer relay. Only simple mechanical switches can be automated using this relay. This relay can be used as a momentary switch in a garage door application as well. Also note that this Zen 51 relay is designed for automating a single switch. If you'd like to automate double gang wall switches, then you would purchase the Zen 52 double relay switch. I have provided affiliate links in the description below for a single and double relay, as well as other SmartThings compatible Zeus switches. Please note that this relay requires that you have a neutral wire. If you do not have a neutral wire in the switch box, then you can put this relay at the fixture where you'll typically find a neutral connection for automating your existing wall switch. You may also install the relay in a single pole or three-way setup. Zeus provides wiring diagrams and step-by-step -step instructions for both simple and complex applications. This device is very small, so you do not need to be overly concerned about crowded boxes. The relay pigtail wires made it a lot easier and faster to install as compared to terminal screws. This Z-Wave device works well with Hubitat, Home Assistant, Home Seer, and SmartThings. This product is backed by US-based support from Zeus seven days a week, and the relay is also provided with a five-year warranty once registered. Before pairing this relay, you must download the appropriate edge driver to your SmartThings hub. The driver is provided via the Zeus Edge Drivers channel. This driver will enable local execution of automations without the need for an internet connection. There is a Zeus driver channel link as well as edge driver installation instructions on my website. You'll find a link to my website in the description below this video. A link to my website is also provided in the product notes for the relay on my Amazon store. When you tap on the Zeus channel invitation link, you'll be prompted to sign into your Samsung account. You will then need to accept the Edge Driver channel invitation. Tap Enroll to enroll in the Zeus channel and click on the Available Drivers button. While in the Zeus Edge Driver screen, you'll find a driver titled as Zeus Switch. Just click on the Install button to download the driver to your SmartThings hub. With the driver installed, you should then wire your switch while carefully following the provided wiring diagram. Once the relay is properly wired, you're ready to pair the relay with the SmartThings app. Here are before and after snapshots of my paddle switch. 
This switch controls three halogen lights which are positioned above our kitchen sink. If you wish, you should pause the video to study the layout of the wiring. I have included labels of the before and after snapshots to assist you in your review. Now as a general disclaimer, I am not a licensed electrician, so I encourage you to use the information contained in this video at your own risk. If you are hesitant or unfamiliar with electrical wiring, or you're not familiar with your local electrical codes, you are encouraged to consult with or hire a qualified electrician. Pairing this relay was very simple. I just tapped the relay pairing button quickly three times, and I used my SmartThings app to scan for nearby devices. The relay was easily discovered by SmartThings and Alexa. Here you see me testing the relay's responsiveness. The relay was very quick to respond to on and off prompts from the SmartThings app. While in the device screen, tap on the ellipsis in the upper right hand corner and then tap on the word driver within the drop down menu to confirm that the Zeus switch driver was assigned to the relay. I also confirmed the ability to control the lights with my Echo Show. Alexa, turn on sync light. Alexa, turn off sync light. My plan for the automation of our sync lighting is to have the lights turn on with motion during the late evening hours. This lighting scenario will be in lieu of my main kitchen lights. This alternate lighting will be less harsh on the eyes should anyone need to enter the kitchen during the middle of the night. Hey, as previously stated, this relay is perfect if you don't want to replace your current wall switches with new wall switches that may not match the particular style of your current switches. The Zeus Relay performs beautifully as advertised, so I highly recommend this product. Well, that's it for today's episode. Remember to hop over to my website to find edge driver installation instructions. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Keep automating and God bless. This is the future.